What's being called a slap in the face for American taxpayers, is it really possible that the insurance Goliath AIG may sue the U.S. government less than five years after taxpayers saved the insurance company from bankruptcy? ABC's David Muir is here with this story. This is really something, Diane. In fact, as one economist put it today, if AIG sues the government now after that giant taxpayer bailout, it would be the equivalent of a patient suing their doctor for saving their life. Insurance giant AIG bailed out by the American taxpayer just days ago, launching this brand new marketing campaign with three simple words. Thank you, America. Thank you, America. Thank you, America. But now, after thanking America, it turns out AIG might sue it. How do you say thank you, America, and then turn around and consider suing America? Well, that's a fascinating thing, isn't it? They just launched this ad campaign all about thanking Americans for their help and thanking taxpayers for the bailout, and yet now they're considering suing. It was a little more than four years ago, the worst economic crash since the Depression, and American taxpayers came to the rescue. $182 billion for AIG. The insurance giant had bet on mortgage securities, bets that went terribly wrong. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke later calling the bets unconscionable. Fast forward, and now the company just finished paying back American taxpayers. And in those new ads, proud of it. We've repaid every dollar America lent us. Everything, plus a profit of more than $22 billion for the American people. But as those ads play on TV, AIG is now deciding whether to sue the federal government. The claim that the terms of the bailout, that taxpayer rescue, actually hurt shareholders. In part, arguing the interest charge on that government rescue money was too high. Tonight, the New York Fed telling us there's no merit to this suit, saying back then, AIG's board of directors had an alternative choice to borrowing from the Federal Reserve, and that choice was bankruptcy. Had there not been taxpayer help, had there not been a bailout, what would the shareholders have now anyway? They would have very little, possibly zero. A $25 billion lawsuit has already been filed by AIG's former CEO, Hank Greenberg. And just before we came on the air here tonight, AIG issued a statement saying under law, they must consider the suit. It is their obligation, in their words, to determine what's in the best interest of the company. I did ask to interview some of those AIG employees saying, thank you, America. Diane, the company today declining our request. I bet that company gets an earful. Thank you so much, David.